yours truly has confirmed that Denzel Washington won't reprise his role as Robert McCall after The Equalizer 3. Initially promoted as the final chapter, the movie's success has sparked speculation about a possible continuation. Talks about The Equalizer 4 persist, with discussions on whether Denzel Washington could return. Director Antoine Fuqua, in addressing the sequel's possibility during The Equalizer 3 promotion, emphasized that it was meant to conclude the franchise, but expressed openness to another installment if Denzel agreed. This implies Denzel Washington holds a crucial role in determining the fate of The Equalizer 4. Despite hopes for his return, past comments suggest it's unlikely. If Denzel Washington has the final say, The Equalizer 4 is unlikely to happen, and his return seems improbable. In an interview with E.T. before the release of the latest movie, Denzel mentioned, This is the end for me. It may not be the end. They may do another one, but it's the end for me. This strongly suggests Denzel's reluctance towards The Equalizer 4. Unless there's a significant change in his stance, The Equalizer 3 might mark the conclusion of Denzel's portrayal of Robert McCall. While there's always a slim chance that Denzel and Antoine Fuqua find an exciting story for a fourth entry, it appears to be the only scenario for The Equalizer 4 to happen with Denzel as the star. Notably, Denzel mentioned in the same interview that even a substantial paycheck wouldn't be enough to entice him back. If he lacks motivation for financial reasons and believes the franchise has creatively exhausted its potential, his return becomes highly unlikely. Even if Denzel Washington decides not to participate in The Equalizer 4, it doesn't necessarily mark the end of the franchise. The series could explore alternative paths, such as spin-offs centered around Dakota Fanning's character Emma Collins. Emma, with her role at the DIA, could continue aiding those in need, offering a fresh perspective to the franchise. While this might entail a shift in the action elements, it provides an interesting narrative direction. It also leaves room for Denzel to make a cameo if he wishes to contribute without being the main character. Another potential direction for The Equalizer's future is the exploration of prequel movies. Antoine Fuqua has mentioned discussions about de-aging Denzel Washington for a prequel, introducing a younger version of Robert McCall. This could involve casting someone like Denzel's son, John David Washington, to take on the lead role. Both spin-offs and prequels offer intriguing possibilities for the series to evolve, even if Denzel Washington doesn't return for The Equalizer 4. Equalizer 3 follows Denzel Washington's character McCall, who starts by taking down a Sicilian mob base but gets injured in the process. Locals from a seaside village called Altamonte take him in and care for him. However, the village faces threats from the mafia outfit, the Camorra. When the violence escalates, McCall steps in to protect the villagers. A side story involves McCall assisting CIA agent Emma Collins, providing her with information about designer drugs linked to the raided mob base. It's been revealed that the Camorra is involved with terrorists. A final confrontation unfolds after McCall kills the brother of Mafia chief Vincent. In the end, McCall defeats Vincent and his men in an intense home invasion. Despite injuries, Collins receives a promotion and McCall decides to stay in the village, seemingly finding peace. The ending leaves room for a potential fourth film. In The Equalizer 3, Denzel Washington's character faces danger throughout the action movie, but he doesn't die by the end. The film initially suggests he might be in critical condition after being shot, but takes a positive turn after he stabilizes after receiving treatment from a local. The decision is made to keep McCall alive, offering a happy ending or the possibility of a sequel, avoiding his demise in The Equalizer 3. The movie explores the theme that people end up where they belong and McCall seems to have found his place by the end of the film. Despite his darker portrayal, marked by grief and betrayal, he regains his humanity when embraced by the kind villagers. After settling the score with Vincent, he returns to Altamonte, seen happily participating in a village celebration. Having handed over his black book to Collins, it seems McCall has truly left behind his vigilante life. The Equalizer 3's ending, without hints of a sequel, provides a satisfying conclusion to the character. In the beginning of The Equalizer 3, Denzel Washington's character Robert McCall orchestrates a massacre at a mob boss's vineyard. The scene unfolds like a slasher film, with McCall easily defeating the henchmen. Before the confrontation, McCall hints that the mob took something that didn't belong to them. 
He is later seen with a mystery backpack, and its contents are revealed in the final scenes. McCall discloses to Collins that the mob was involved in cybercrime and stole the pension of a retired man named Greg Dyer in Boston. Having given Greg a ride in a lift previously, McCall decided to come to Italy to return the stolen $360,000 to him. Collins is puzzled about why McCall would go to such lengths for a stranger, but when she witnesses the joy the recovered money brings to Greg and his wife, she understands the noble motive behind McCall's actions. The antagonists lack depth and are portrayed as excessively evil. They commit heinous acts, such as hanging an old man from a window and cutting off a subordinate's hand. The mob led by Vincent collects protection money from stores in Altamonte and plans to build resorts and casinos, displacing the local population. Despite the kindness shown to him by the villagers, McCall is determined to prevent this. A significant subplot involves Collins investigating drug shipments hidden in wine bottles at the raided vineyard. The amphetamine, known as the Jihad drug, is sold by Syrian terrorists to fund their activities. McCall discovers that the Camorra is buying the drug, directly supporting terrorism. In the end, McCall administers a fatal dose of the pills to Vincent, ensuring that he experiences the consequences of his actions. He then accompanies the fleeing Camorra chief into the village, waiting for him to succumb to the overdose. Throughout the Equalizer 3, the reason behind McCall helping CIA agent Collins remains a mystery. Despite forming a strong bond, McCall avoids explaining his motivation. The mystery unravels in the final scene in Collins' office, after she survives a car bomb planted by the Camorra. McCall has gifted her his black book, accompanied by a message stating that her mother would be proud. Collins discovers a graduation picture on her desk, revealing that she is the daughter of McCall's old friends, Susan and Brian. By mentoring Collins and passing on his book of names and secrets, McCall is guiding her to follow in the footsteps of Susan, becoming a formidable agent. This gesture signifies McCall's readiness to retire from his vigilant ways. The third installment of the Equalizer series is considered a potential conclusion. Although director Antoine Fuqua has suggested Equalizer 4 could involve a digitally de-aged McCall or even star Denzel's son John David, the certainty of another entry remains unclear. Despite speculation about McCall's death in the third film, this is not the case. The sequel concludes with the character finding inner peace and choosing to embrace it. The Equalizer 3 serves as an ending, but it doesn't rule out a fourth entry. A possible sequel could depict McCall on another mission of vengeance, explaining that retirement didn't suit him. With Collins established as his new ally, she might seek his help for an operation requiring his unconventional methods. While a new film isn't guaranteed, Hints suggest that Denzel Washington may not return for The Equalizer 4 if it happens. Therefore, 3 is likely to mark the true conclusion of Robert McCall's story rather than continuing for another adventure. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.